for Ian Percy and Andrew Simpson, uh, gold medal sailors of course from Beijing and in, in the, the hairy ones case from Sydney as well. Uh, but we're not on a boat, we're not even near water, we are in central London in a Clark store in Regent Street. Perhaps you'd like to explain why? Well, Clark's have been our sponsor for a little while now, um, helping us towards the Olympic campaign. And actually, it, it was quite a good, lucky partnership to have. About this year's been awful for me. Every part of my body seems to be breaking. One of the particular parts was my foot. When I woke up in Ireland at the European Championships, my foot had turned into a balloon. And on closer inspection from a few doctors, I burst out the blood vessels in there. We take a lot of load over a strap. Um, so it was quite convenient to, at that point to be able to call up on Clarks and say I, we need a boot that has to pad up the front of our foot badly. So uh, it's been a relationship that started off uh, endorsing their brand and turned into a bit of a mercy mission for us. And you're a bit of a tour, aren't you, Andrew? You've done Plymouth, you've done Southampton, you've now hit the capital. Yeah, we've been to Weymouth as well. Um, you know, it's great. You know, Clarks have supported us so well in the last few years. And, you know, we just had to buy a brand new starboat, which you know the likes of we wouldn't be able to do the Olympic campaign if it wasn't for the likes of Clarks and Scandia supporting us. So, you know, we owe them a huge thanks, and we're very happy to you know help them out anywhere we can. Now, tell us, okay, it's it's nearly upon us, isn't it? And you know what I mean by it. Yes. And it's in Weymouth. So I mean, how excited are you? And I know you know you've you've done you've done the Olympics and you've done very well at previous Olympics, but this isn't any old Olympics, is it? This is your Olympics. This is the British Olympics. Yeah. I'm, 100 days ish now, uh, 29th of July for us today, that's pretty firm. Uh, very excited, uh, looking forward actually to the competition, but it's still, it's amazing. It's like cramming for exams, or, or your parents always used to say, there's not, you know, well, if you haven't done it by now, you're not going to do any more tonight. Well, actually, we all, we, know, the same we all know we did more work in the last evening than Correct. you do. So for us, this last push is, is really, really important. And we found we made big, in, big uh, improvements last time into China. We're going to work in a similar way on that. So to be honest, though, there's a lot of excitement and I'm really proud of us having the games. We've got a job to do and it's going to involve a lot of work. Now, you've just come back from Palmer. I can see by the tans, uh, where, where you came second, which is which is all right, not bad. But I know you don't like coming second, but it's not about now. It's about it's about uh, July, isn't it, uh, Andy? But just tell us, uh, are you on course at the moment? No, we're in a good place. Um, obviously, we did lose, lost, lost the last event by points to Brazilians, who are one of our biggest rivals. And you know, before the before the event, we'd only done four races in eight months, Brazilians injury mainly, and. Um, so actually, to be back out racing was a was a real was a real plus. And Ian's back being, you know, he was hiking really hard, working both probably harder than ever. And well, blimey, well, I know it's like wins, <laughs> but um, you work it. He was working really hard uh, when the wind came up, really hard. And um, the fact that his back held you know, and seemed really good was a massive massive plus. And uh, the fact that we we're using a new boat and learning to use it, and we still. You know, only lost by a point after some really sort of basic errors, really. The, the kind of rusty lack of racing errors um, is all is all looking good, and we've got a lot to work on this year to fine tune from where we are. But we're in a good place. Now, what I really like about you two is is your story, because here you are, you two sitting next to each other, which is pretty much what you've been doing ever since the age of ten years old. Oh, no. Please explain. I want to scare you how long ten years old was for us, but. You used to always say, oh, yeah, we've known each other for 18 years, and it starts going up and up and up, and it's about, about 25, 26 years now. Um, yeah, well, we both, we were, uh, we must have had the kind of versions of a competitive dad when we were young, because when, when the under-16 national championships were going on in Southampton, the only two eight-year-olds were me and Andy, <laughs> who had been shoved down the water in a... Fortunately, our parents did realise that one day when it was blowing a gale, that it was probably a little bit too much for the guys who were half the size of all the others. And so we ended up bumping into each other in the Lego pit that was provided the under 16 year olds at that point. And because it was such a gale, we started making these land yachts out of the Lego and using Lego sails to blow it along the dock. And that was when we first met. And it is That's weird. a great became, story. Yeah, became great mates from that moment on. And, uh, have been competing against each other a lot over the years in single-handed stuff and and then joined up in 2007 after sailing together in the America's Cup and it, it really did click well. I mean, being friends has its, its pros and cons but I think overall it's a positive because you're able to tackle issues and, and work things through and be open about stuff and in, in sport is so much about the mental side and the relationship that uh, 
we have that little advantage that we can fight like brothers and still be going well the next day. And it's been a, well, it's been a long hard road for both of you, but particularly you because um, you know uh, uh, Beijing winning gold must have been so special for you. He'd already um, show off next year; had already got one from from Sydney. But you, you know, I think, am I right in saying you'd lost out to your mate uh, in getting the only place uh, in the fin, wasn't it, for, yeah. for Sydney? And then I think you tried you, you, against Ainsley in 2004. So you don't make it easy for yourself, do you? No, I picked the wrong class, I think. Um, I was just racing against two of the best guys in the world, you know. So. But you were pretty much the second best guy in the world, yeah, weren't you? Which I'm made it even harder. Yeah, but you know, that's, it, it's really frustrating. And Giles is going through that right now. And, you know, if he went to the Olympics, he'd, gar- he'd be guaranteed a medal, probably a silver medal. Yeah. Um, it's pretty tough, but you know, seeing one of your best mates win gold in 2000 was. Was, was incredible and and you came out in 2000 and, and helped him didn't you yeah yeah I trained with him in 2004 and you know had a really I was really lucky actually to have such a great time and you know really rewarding experience seeing your best friends win he's being too modest there the truth is when as soon as he Charles had gone and obviously Andrew was second and probably was the second best in the world at the time instead of being bitter about it we had always had a fair fight and got on well and we were good mates here, but that night we were having a beer after the Charles he said well, anything you need me to do and, and you bear in mind this was about 14 months to go at that point and it was before the days of professional sport if he was giving me 40 months of his time it was on his own pocket and so me and him packed up and we were down in Sydney before the time when there was loads of coaches and physios and just worked it out uh, on Sydney Harbour trained and got to a point where the week before the Olympics in the warm-up regatta, we were first and second ahead of all the others by a while. Is that right? And then, you know, the thing that Andrew was that far ahead of the others then watched. Uh, just, you know, it's something I'll never forget what he did for me then. And so a little bit of that gold medal is, is his, a little part. bit. No, Good part. No, no, no. He did the work. Now, it's, uh, how can you possibly top winning a medal together as mates? Well, maybe winning another one on home water in front of what? A quarter of a million, half a million, maybe more people pretty much cheering for you. Can you just imagine? You try not to really. You just got we got <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> we try not to. I mean it would be great, there's no doubt, but you know our first job is to try and get better and give ourselves a chance so we can do that. And um, let's keep doing the a hundred little things better and just keep focusing on the goal. And the goal is just to make sure by on the 29th of July this year we're we're on top four. And you know, ready to blow the others off the, off the page. Yeah, you don't think about the summit, you think about the steps required to get there. We, we've got a lot, it's a very complex campaign with lots of aspects, and we need, to, we need to work on all of them, get each individual part better. If you can do that as well as I know we can, then the result will hopefully take care of itself. But we're not thinking about that, and uh, it's, it's not a jinxing thing, it's just we've got to do the work, and sure. that's what we've got to think about. And if somebody had interrupted you in the Lego pit all those years ago and said, you know what? you two are going to win at least three gold medals between you and maybe more no, you would have I well believe, I think they'd have been leopard <laughs> back in those back in those days the you know we hadn't had that Olympic success at all the, the British success in sailing is in the last few Olympics before that I mean it would have been years before we'd had much success and so it was further from any of young kids dreams in those days and pretty uh, pretty amazing that for all of us who've been part of that ride and we've been a big Olympic squad with Ben and Shirley and a few of the others and, and it's been a great ride for all of us and something I think none of us would have expected when we were growing up.